Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on the Nintendo Switch. As a very convincing video has appeared on YouTube under the name of NOA Test Number 63. And in it, it shows what is supposedly a version 5.0 beta for the Nintendo Switch. And during this video, it shows off custom themes, game sorting, party chat, virtual console, media apps, cloud storage, system level microphone support, and an internet browser. That is a lot of features and it would be a pretty huge update. And the video itself is extremely convincing. Time passes over the course of the video, everything is done live, it all seems to be very real. But as we've seen from past fakes, it's very possible to fake all of these things. So the first gut feeling for me was this has to be fake. It is too good to be true. There's too many good things in here and there's no way they're announcing all this in a January Direct. Nintendo's gonna be a little conservative. Nintendo tends to be conservative with these types of things, especially the fact that a virtual console already seems to be coming and cloud storage and all this other stuff. It's just too big of a step too far. Now, that's just a gut level reaction though. I am very well known about not believing leaks and rumors and stuff like that unless there's extremely convincing evidence of it. And granted, this video does make that case. However, people are already spotting cracks in this video. For one, Big Red N on Twitter has stated that the system update leak is fake. The console has Mario Kart 8 Deluxe downloaded digitally, which takes up 6.8 gigabytes of space but only two gigabytes of system memory is taken up, less than 3.2 gigabytes of the SD card storage is taken up, and only 0.9 gigabytes of cloud storage is taken up. So what's the deal here? Well, it could have been archived, except that's not possible either because when you archive a game on the Nintendo Switch, a little icon will appear next to the name if it is. Additionally, if you look at the YouTube logo in the media file, it's using the old YouTube logo. It's not the current one at all. And YouTube has been using this new logo for quite some time. So even if Nintendo is using old assets, it seems odd that they'd be going that far back. So yeah, it's a very convincing, very impressive video, but based on this evidence, along with my own gut feelings, this is fake. This has to be fake. Do not get pulled into it. Do not raise your expectations that Nintendo is going to have all these features for the January Direct. I don't believe this whatsoever, but I could be wrong. Maybe you guys see something in here that completely negates all those points that might point it to being fake. But again, I'm not easily convinced. What about you guys though? Let us know in the comments and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on the Switch and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.